Dickens. We're tracking storms of our own right now. First alert Doppler radar is fired up here and you can see uh, quite a bit of activity out there. If you're here in the metro, really anywhere here um, in the uh, kind of along the river right now, you can hear that thunder, uh, hear the heavy rainfall as well going on. A little bit uh, more dynamic storms than what we were originally thinking and that's because it got just a tad warmer than what we were expecting. Let's take a little radar tour here and uh, track things out for you. Heavy activity now moving into part of Henry County, also up into Whiteside County. You're seeing uh, pretty much the entire county, Whiteside County there is getting into some of that activity. We'll slide over here. Sterling Rock Falls, Prophetstown, down the pike here towards Joslin. You're getting into some of that heavier activity up towards Clinton. Now, Clinton, you're kind of out of it now and slowly over the next hour or so, the Illinois, excuse me, the Iowa counties will be clear, but uh, Illinois counties, it's now just entering your vicinity. But you can see here what we've got going on. This is kind of an interesting thing. You see that line right there that moves out of the storm? It's what we call an outflow boundary. It's a gush of wind. Uh, sometimes could get up to 40, 50 miles an hour uh, at, at its best. But what happens is that pushes out. See, look at boom and boom, we get storms to redevelop along that. So another round coming through here into Scott County might again, once again, make its way into the immediate uh, Quad City Metro. So with all the events going on, take note of that. If you're going to be out, make sure you have a place to get inside. If you hear that thunder, these are packing a punch, not really severe levels, but we've had some reports of some small hail and gusty winds with them. And of course, you can see all the little lightning strikes as well. Lightning being indicated heavy line of activity now making its way into uh, parts of uh, Warren County, just out of Henderson County there. Also down in towards Hancock and Macomb uh, area, McDonough County there. Burlington, you've got some rainfall, but overall it's going to start to kind of wind down a little bit for you. Another little bit of activity out here to the northwest too that we have to watch. That's where that cold front is and a little bit cooler off to the west. Some of this is rain cooled air, but uh, you can see well into the 70s out to the east, 78 Macomb, uh, 60 degrees in Clinton after that storm moved through. We're going to time this out for you. Once we get into about the six o'clock hour, we'll make it into the Illinois counties. By the time we get to seven, eight o'clock, it'll start clearing through the TV six viewing area on the back end of it. We'll start to clear out tonight. Partly cloudy skies will eventually become mostly clear skies. Now tomorrow's going to be a pretty nice day overall. Few bouts of clouds. We are going to be talking about some fog too in the morning. See that right there? It's picking up pretty good. Dense fog possible. So lower visibilities if you're going to be traveling early in the morning should wear off as the sun comes out and the uh, and the day gets going. But uh, can't rule out one thing we're watching is going to keep the rain shower chances out of the forecast. But east of the river, maybe Bureau County, Lee County, Illinois, you might see a stray shower as that low pressure spins off to the east, but chances are pretty low. We continue with this level one risk for some severe weather isolated. Again, we haven't seen any storms make it to that level kind of close, but uh, not out of the question that maybe one or two of these get to that level of the 60 mile an hour winds or quarter sized hail. Right now they've been uh, below that, but some will continue to watch. Rainfall, though, if you get under one of these cells, not out of the question to see a nice uh, half inch, three quarters of an inch of rainfall. But again, it's going to be kind of hit and miss overall. Temperatures will start to drop once we get into the overnight hours. Tomorrow, though, not going to be a really warm day, but we'll get into the mid 70s for most. And then tomorrow night, things are going to drop. We'll clear things out and here come the 40s once again. But we're tracking some changes here on the seven day forecast. This weekend is going to be the Sunday best for sure with our weather 72 degrees and sunshine. Now sunshine stays with us, but we get into the 80s. Warmer weather for sure, more summer like pattern and then things turn active once we get to Thursday and beyond. Rain shower chances continue until we get to next weekend. Pain at the pump isn't going anywhere. The white